Okay, so now I'm going to do a video for layering apply. So many people ask me about how you're going to use oil for layering. Very simple. Okay, I will start with the first oil which is on guard. Alright, and then I will put one or two drops on my palm. And I will use fractionated coconut oil. Dilute a little bit of fractionated coconut oil. And I will do the applying. Okay, apply on the spine area. Okay, stroke down. Okay, stroke down do this about 20 times okay 20 times to make sure that the oil all absorb into the spine and the back okay after that I will go for eucalyptus which is a very good oil for viral bacterial infections or even for flu cough all right especially now the seasons was already very bad okay a lot of people having cough and flu so I will use two drops on my palm and then I apply okay apply the back do this okay if you find that it's oily it doesn't matter huh okay doesn't matter the body will absorb the oil so stroke down 20 times okay 20 times and then go to the spine area okay do this okay just this is to show you how I do Okay, and then the next oil will be tea tree. Alright, tea tree. Two drops also. Alright, dilute. Rub. Okay, the same. Okay. This is to help them to absorb the 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 oil at the same time. It's also help them to release their fever, okay, to fight. And then we will use oregano oil. Okay, oregano is a very hot oil, yeah? so make sure you dilute heavily, right? But it's very good. Dilute heavily, refractionated coconut oil. Same, apply at the back. Okay. Why apply on the spine and the back? Because our nervous system, our spine's area have all the nerves, okay, area that it will travel all over our body. So it's very important that we need to apply all this area to help. Sometimes some mommy might just apply a bit and then you call this apply. No, actually applying should be this way when they are not well. Okay, layering apply will be very good. Then we will go for the next which is the Siberian fur. Okay, good for phlegm, good for muscle release or pain. So if let's say the kids are having fever, but sometimes there's no symptom of cough or flu, it might be because of uh, growing. Okay, so when they are growing, right, they will tend to have fever because of stretching their muscle. In TCM, right, this is called uh, steam, body steaming. Okay, so that is why it creates a heat. That's why there's fever. So if you have this condition, like there's no other symptoms, just only fever, okay, do layering applying. This can help them with their muscle aches and pain at the same time for respiratory support. Okay. Alright. And then, always remember when they are not well, the last oil to apply, okay, do a peppermint. Peppermint oil drives the oil into the body. Okay, so it's very important and it helps the body to absorb the oils better. So, dilute, see? This time around, apply the spine, the armpit area. Okay. Okay, so if let's say the kids are huh, having fever, are coughing very badly, you can see this area, right, which is the the chicken wing area at this point do this okay do this it will help them to breathe better open up their airway if you have flames right you also help them okay so this area uh, and then apply all over make sure the arms the joints area all cook all with peppermint oil and cover for them okay so this is how we use oil for applying layering that's all